Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden Mobile Pack opening video. Guys, today we are going to be ripping a bunch of packs trying to get the brand new Ultimate Legend Randy Moss and Javon Curse that were added in the game today. What we're looking for, guys, are either the limited edition card. Both of these guys actually have limited editions today, so that's a really good change. Uh, and then there's also the year collectibles. That's the big one that we're looking for today. So that's what we're going to try and pull. Last week, we were not successful with that, unfortunately. The week before, we did get a year collectible for Darnell Dockett, so we were able to finish that set. So that's what I'm hoping for today is to get either the limited edition or that year collectible. So, uh, guys, with that said, let's go in and uh, let's take a look at what I have today for my packs that I have got saved up. Uh, guys, right now, I am, again, I'm sitting here at over 200 quick sells. Might need to sell these things. Um, but uh, we're going to make a video on that eventually. So, for today, guys, I did save up. Let's see here. Uh, let's. I'm going to count them up here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42 of the Ultimate Legend player packs. Um, there are also uh, Ultimate Legend item packs as well. Uh, but guys, the big thing that we're looking for here. So let's see here. We've got how many of the item packs? Five. Let's see here. Ten of those total, I guess. And then I've got 25 of the Ultimate Legend packs saved up as well. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff to open up today, guys. Plenty of good stuff. So with that said, let's start it off here, guys. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the Ultimate Legend player packs to start it off. Now, I believe that these can only contain the gold players for the Ultimate Legend sets, but I'm not 100% certain on that. It's possible that it could contain the limited edition. So that's what we're going to try and pull today. I do not believe that these can contain the year collectible, though, unfortunately. So right there, we start off with a Sterling Sharp. It could it could very well contain that limited edition, though. That would be freaking epic. We do get a Jack Youngblood there. Now, each one of these is really not worth a whole lot, to be honest with you. But even if it gives us that chance at getting one of those limited editions, that's really what we're looking for today. We really just want to get one of the limited editions. That would be freaking amazing. A Randy Moss would be unbelievable. I have no idea even what it's going for right now. I don't even know what the curse is going for, but a Randy Moss would be damn freaking amazing. That I would love that. Randy Moss, definitely one of my favorite players of all time. I would say probably in my top five all-time players in the NFL. Uh, right up there with uh, Tom Brady. Right up there with Emmett Smith. LaDainian Tomlinson's up there for me. Deion Sanders. Um, Calvin Johnson's probably up there as well. A lot of those guys kind of fall in right around there. I would say my favorite player of all time is Emmett Smith. Uh, but definitely Randy Moss is up there for sure. Absolutely one of the best players. I wish that he would have just played one year with the Cowboys somehow, some way. Like, I always thought that it would be great to see Randy Moss in a Cowboys uniform. I don't know why. I just thought he would look great in it. And obviously, he would be a, he would have been a great player for the Cowboys. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, it never happened. So, right here, we haven't really pulled anything yet other than these little 84 overalls. Like I said, I don't know for sure that these are the only things that you can pull. I, I do think it's possible to pull one of the, um, the elite Ultimate Legend players. But since they don't have elite players anymore okay so there we go we get one okay so this is interesting because i was thinking that because they don't have these in like these 87s 89s 90s overall uh in the the sets anymore they've replaced them with like a year collectible a position collectible and like a team collectible or something like that uh since they don't have those in the new ones i didn't think that you could pull these but this is actually a nice pull i don't think this is worth a whole lot because it's only the 87 but it's still an elite player and that's still something that we'll be very very happy with so that gives me some hope that you can pull one of the limited editions even too so uh we've still got quite a few of these left so we're gonna keep ripping through them and maybe we'll get really really lucky somehow how many more do we have a whole bunch of them dang i forgot how many of these i had saved up these are the ones where you have to add i think five of the ultimate legend badges and then i think you got one of these in the past now i think they're ultimate legend item packs if i remember correctly and i know you can pull the uh year collectibles out of those and those year collectibles go for a ton of coins because they're the rare thing in those sets like there's elite badges in there i believe or is it ultimate legend badges i don't remember but uh there's badges in there and then there's like the the team collectible and the position collectible as well as like the gold version of the player so like gold randy moss or whatever but uh those don't go for a lot 
the year collectible is really the thing that is almost all of the cost in the Ultimate Legend set. So if you pull one of those, it's very, very possible to complete the sets for not much more. And actually, I've seen it where the, uh, oddly enough, I've seen it where the year collectible is actually going for more than the damn Ultimate Legend player for some reason. So I don't know if people just don't pay attention to that or what, but um, that's always something to pay attention to. If you do pull, do pull the year collectible, make sure that you go on there and check and see what the prices are on them. Uh, because if it is going for more than the actual Ultimate Legend player is, make sure you sell it. And then if you really want the Ultimate Legend player, just buy them off the auction house. Like, that's a way better usage of your coins, if you really think about it. So, uh, continuing on here, we've still got 10 more of these. And then we will go into the Ultimate Legend packs. And then we've got those Ultimate Legend item packs as well. So, we're going to try and get one of those uh, year collectibles out of that. So uh, let's continue through here, guys. Got a ton of packs today in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Unfortunately, like I said, a lot of these packs are just going to be the gold players. But we saw you can get elites out of it. We've only pulled one out of like 40 of them so far, but it is possible. It is possible to get elites. Still haven't gotten any more of them, though, other than the one player. So continuing on here, four more to go, and then we'll be on to the Ultimate Legend packs, which again are 50,000 coins each, and I have 25 of them saved up, so you can count that up in your head how much that we spent on those, and obviously these are pretty damn expensive as well to create. So uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a pretty decent sized pack opening video for you guys today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But there you go. Unfortunately, we've only got the one elite player out of it. We did not get any of the limited editions, but we're going to try and pull one today out of this. Started off with just an Ultimate Legend collectible. We do get the gold Randy Moss out of the first pack, though, so that's good. That'll get us a little bit closer to starting to create that set version of Randy Moss. So we're going to continue on here and try and get ourselves that year collectible. And we do get a Titans Javon Curse collectible here. I think, like I said, these team ones, I believe, are one of the cheaper ones in each of the sets. Um, obviously, a bunch of golds in each of these packs as well. So uh, we'll hold on to those and eventually make ourselves a nice uh, set. But we do get a Quentin Dial here. This is, what are these called again? The Unsung Heroes. That's right. So some of these are really expensive. I think that's probably one of the cheaper ones, unfortunately. But uh, we do also get the Darnell Docket Collectible as well and the Ultimate Legend. So not bad there. Continuing through here and no good pull out of this one, unfortunately. We're just going to not spend a whole lot of time on most of these packs, guys, just because there's so many of them. So I don't want to waste your time. You know, if we don't pull anything real good, we'll just rip through the packs for the most part. All right. Come on, baby. Damn. Missing all over the board here. I wish that they would take some of these older Ultimate Legends out and just replace them with like the newer legend stuff that would be great for somebody like me who's already you know pretty much got what i needed so we do get javon curse there in 84 overall the gold version of him out of that pack so that's obviously a good thing um again we are looking for those elite collectibles those are really the things that you want the year collectible is the one that is the rare one so we're going to continue on Come on, year collectibles. We do get a Packers collectible, a Mon Green. And even if we get one, one of the year collectibles from one of the old Ultimate Legends, those ones are still worth a lot. So we'd definitely be happy about that. Back-to-back -back packs with that Amon Green team collectible, unfortunately, which doesn't really have a lot of value because Amon Green's card wasn't that spectacular. Champ Bailey card there, okay. I wish that we could pull, like, I wish the Ultimate Legend limited editions just stayed in packs. That would be great, but obviously they can't because they're limited editions, but it would be cool if you could still pull, like, the limited Amon Green or something like that. That would be nice. But uh, we do get a defensive tackle collectible there for Darnell Dockett. Still looking for the year collectibles for either Moss or Javon Curse. We do get an Aaron Rodgers there and a Joe Thomas, so three elites out of this pack. Unfortunately, none of those are really that valuable. And the 84 overall Javon Curse, which again, guys, if you don't get all the stuff for the collectibles uh, that you need to complete the set, I would highly recommend selling the, the 84 overall golds the day that you get them, like the, the Curse and the Randy Moss, because those are the days that they're going to be the most expensive. So make sure that you guys are staying on top of that. We get an Adrian Peterson 87 there, but again, that's not really that valuable at this point, unfortunately, because we're so deep into Madden, uh, and those lower overall elites just aren't worth a whole lot. We get a Champ Bailey position collectible there. So anytime you get the elite collectibles uh, for a player, they've got some value, but uh, not a whole lot, unfortunately. So getting down here, unfortunately, with these packs, we're not really pulling anything great. And we do right here, though, we get a fan favorite 95 overall hero edition of Patrick Peterson. Damn, son. I was not expecting that. That is a huge pull. And we also get the Patriots position or team collectible for Randy Moss. That is a great pull, though, this Patrick Peterson 
Very, very nice. What is his position? Cornerback. Okay, so it's a cornerback version of Peterson. I believe he has a punt returner card as well. Maybe not in the fan favorites, obviously, but um, very, very nice pull there, man. That is definitely a really nice pull. We'll have to check out, see what that one's going for. I have no idea what it's going for right now. I really don't. So uh, hopefully it's going for a ton. I didn't even know that you could pull those out of packs, to be honest with you. I have ha haven't had any good luck doing that. But we get our second Aaron Rodgers here, oddly enough, and a Donovan McNabb Elite Collectible. But no year collectible, unfortunately. And let's see here. Damn, only the Darnell Docket collectible. Docket was one of probably the cheapest ones. And, of course, that's the one that I pull the year collectible for. But beggars can't be choosers. We'll definitely take it. As we get a Mike Purcell here, uh, another uh, unsung heroes or unsung uh, sidekicks, whatever you want to call them, unsung hero sidekicks. Those are, um, you know, not that valuable, unfortunately, the lower overall ones, but the higher overall ones can be worth quite a bit. And we do get the Javon Curse position collectible here. So I believe that we've got just about everything that we need for these players. I don't think we have the Randy Moss position collectible yet, uh, but we do have the other things. So we get an 85 Malcolm Jenkins there. Not anything great, unfortunately. We're getting down here close to the end and not anything good out of this pack either unfortunately what do we got left here so we got one more ultimate legend pack guys and then we've got the 10 ultimate legend item packs which can contain the year collectibles so that's what we're hoping for guys let's hopefully that we get something out of them and damn we don't get it but we do get the team collectible for curse so i'll have to make sure to be on top of that um, so here we are again, guys. I th think this is just going to contain one item, and it's going to be one of the, I believe, the Elite Collectibles. Uh, but it'll probably be... Nope, never mind. It can just be a freaking player, unfortunately. That sucks, man. I thought it was going to be automatically one of the Elite Collectibles, but it's not. Apparently, it can just be one of the damn golds. So that kind of sucks. But we do get an Elite Collectible there. Champ Bailey, uh, a team collectible. Looking for those years, though. Give me a year collectible. One year collectible. Let's go from the bottom. Come on, baby. Let's go. Damn, Devon Curse again. Back-to-back -back packs there. But not in a year collectible. Another position collectible. Those go for super, super cheap right now, unfortunately. So this hasn't been the best pack opening. But we did get that Patrick Peterson. We'll have to check out and see what that's going for at the end of this video. So, uh, again, another Amon Green. So at least most of these are like the, the uh, collectibles, at least. Which do go for a little bit more than the 84 overall golds, usually two more of these packs guys and then we will wrap up the video by checking out what pat pete is going for hopefully we can clutch this out with a year collectible in the very end can we do it no damn all right well we still got a whole bunch like i said 200 of the quick sells so we will uh, eventually get into that but let's take a look here and see what this patrick peterson is going for right now like i said i have no idea it could be super cheap but i'm thinking because it's a 95 it should be pretty decent so let's check it out and see and 400k that's pretty good wait that's actually it's actually more than that isn't it holy crap this might be a really nice pull this might be a real real nice pull let's take a look here cornerback where is cornerback there it is okay so cornerback let's, let's try 500k and see if there's anything cheaper than that up hopefully there isn't nope nothing up so it's a definitely over 500k pull that is a great pull let's try 700k and nothing up for 700k Let's try, let's try 900k. Oh my gosh, this could be, there it is. Cheapest one, 899,000. That is a beast pull, guys. We didn't get one of the year collectibles, but beggars cannot be choosers. We get a 900,000 coin pull. That is a really, really great pull. I'm happy about that one, guys. So that is definitely going to make up for the fact that we spent a lot on packs today. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please be sure to drop a like on it. And also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. And I will talk to you all again soon.